if there is no God, if there is not a realm of ultimate value that lasts forever, then why do we think that life is sacred? Why do we think that humans are intrinsically valuable? Why, why do we think that a society should be judged by the way it treats its weakest members? I think we often live with a, an immense split between our beliefs about existence and the, and the ethics that we want to live. So many of us think we are essentially just clever apes and we really should love each other. Why? Why? I want to bring those things together. And I want to say to you, there is a God who values humans more than you could possibly know, who values you more than you could possibly know. And he gives sense to the values you have. He makes sense of the life that you think is the, the right kind of a life, the life of self-giving, the life of sacrifice, the life of love. You think that's the right kind of life. And I want to tell you why that is the right kind of life. You are worth far more than what we can sell your organs for. You are worth far more than what is in your bank account. You are worth far more than what other people say you are worth. You are infinitely valued by an infinite source of value, which gives you infinite value, infinite worth. It gives you the sanctity of life that you probably already believe in. The latest trends, the latest fad, the latest holiday, the latest experience, the latest performance, the latest achievement. What is it that we're always following after? And we're just so culturally conditioned to be like the Joneses, to keep up with the Smiths. To, we're always following after these things, and, and none of them give us life. Jesus says that's what human beings are like. There's an Old Testament verse that says, we're all like sheep who go astray. Each of us turn to our own way. That's what we're like. There's a good shepherd who wants to give you life and pasture. We're like people who say, no thanks, I'm good. And we try to make life work out of resources that are not fit for purpose. What is something's value? Something's value is what somebody is prepared to pay for it. So what's your value? Your value is what someone was prepared to pay for it. Jesus, the image of God, comes to planet Earth to his beloved creatures who have his stamp on them, have his image, and he pays for them. He pays for us. And it's not just like Elon Musk shelling out a few thousand here or there. Jesus gives his very self to us. He pays with his own heart's blood. What are you worth? You're worth the very blood of God.